the BBC's climate editor, whose sister is reportedly a twice-arrested insulate Britain activist, the apple clearly doesn't fall far from that particular tree, is producing content for the BBC, saying that, and of course spending large swathes of our cash, by the way, on producing this climate content. It's basically Greta Thunberg telly for the next two weeks. But anyway, their climate editor, Justin Rowlett, lost his cool whilst interviewing Boris Johnson at COP26, just before COP26. He suggested there was an inconsistency between the Prime Minister's rhetoric on phasing out new coal and the UK potentially signing off on a new coal mine. It is pretty hysterical. When I was a kid, 80% of our power came from coal. When I was Mayor of London, it was 40%. It's now 1%. Well, let's talk about that's, coal. That's an amazing... Let's that's talk about coal, and I know everybody asks you this question. But you're going to What's China, the, you're, the, going the to India, you're going to the developing world saying phase out coal at the same time as not ruling out a new coal mine in Britain. A new coal mine in Britain. We started the Industrial Revolution. We should have closed the I've just the given you the statistics before you have ah, a, But why don't you, you just a, say yeah. we're, gonna, we're not going to open the... I've just given you statistics. Why don't we be clear no, on we, the coal we mine? Have, we have the Chinese will say, we can't take this guy seriously. We, well, I th sorry, the, the, what, they, what absolutely everybody finds incontrovertible is the progress the UK has already made. No, I'm sorry to bang on about the no, coal. Sorry. But the point is, you kind of, you know, it makes you look... No, I, 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 it makes you look a little bit weaselly, not answering the coal question. Weaselly. Because they're going to go in, you're talking Calling about the Prime Minister oh, weaselly. Uh, sorry, I, I've answered the incredible. coal question, and, and they understand that. Directly. And, and let me say, tell you directly, okay. we are, we are... Yes we or are, no, on the coal mine. You personally, what do you reckon? I, I'm not in favour of, of more coal, let's be absolutely clear. But it's not a decision for me. It's a decision for local uh, planning authorities, right? And here's why I actually think that planning authorities should ignore the BBC and indeed the Prime Minister. Coal use in the UK's electricity generation is due to come to an end by 2024. That's set in law. And that's brought about because of practical lower emission alternatives that, uh, well, uh, are supposedly brought about and deployed at necessary scale, right? Wind, for example. We still need coal for crucial industry, well, needs here at home for a wide range of reasons, right? There's a massive domestic demand for coal in industries like steelmaking. How the hell do you think you make those great big wind turbine things? We need it for cement. We need it for the UK's heritage railways. And even for the heating of, like, rural homes. And going forward, right, once all coal-fired generation ceases... It's estimated that we're still going to need a whopping 5 million tonnes for those industries that I've just mentioned every year. Now, it might sound odd, right, because I've said in the past, coal mining, it's a good thing that it's gone. Because coal runs through my family, right? My granddad mined coal, his dad before him mined coal, his dad before him mined coal. Same story on my grand nana's side of the family. My granddad had arthritis, right? He had respiratory problems and he couldn't fully extend his arm thanks to years down the pit. And it would have been completely unthinkable for him to see his offspring go through what he had to. But there aren't, they aren't the same minds these days, right? It, it's not the same work. You're not literally going down a pit in an unsafe condition, being unable to fully extend yourself. Surface mining is just that, surface mining. It's a much safer and cleaner operation to actually extract coal that we still need. And it's a highly paid industry as well. And the examples that we've got so far in Northumberland and other areas, they, they actually restore and regenerate the area after they're done with it as well which actually means that it's a boost for the local economy, it's high paid jobs as I say, and it's a world away from the sort of dust and unsafe practices that my granddad and, and his family, ancestors, had to endure. So I don't understand why it makes sense to actually attack coal like this when all you're going to do is export those jobs to the likes of Russia. In 2018, right, we just to transport 4.7 million tonnes of Russian coal, it was apparently equivalent to a whopping 130 jumbo jets whizzing non-stop around the globe for an entire year. That's enough to make these green hypocrites at COP26 blush, right? 
that's a lot of carbon emissions. But I'm surely not alone. And let me know if you agree with me. And believe in it ridiculous that we would preclude high-scale, high-wage jobs here at home, which would enable us to remove thousands of carbon miles out of the levelling up process, only to export them overseas. Mining the coal that we need in the UK massively boosts greenhouse gases. It offers an immediate boost to the levelling up agenda, and it's all done under our own safety and employment and environmental standards and all the rest of it. Can you really say that you expect the Russian bay to be environmentally friendly when it's extracting this stuff? I don't think so. The carbon emissions saved for, by not, you know, carting this stuff all the way out from Russia is equivalent to covering, apparently, an entire area the size of Newcastle-upon-Tyne in trees. Think about that. Newcastle being covered in trees. That's what it means if we don't have to import all this stuff from the Russian Bay. That's why I think that actually the BBC uh, alarmism from this guy and by actually the Prime Minister is thoroughly misguided. We still need coal. It still makes sense to get it from here whilst we do. Simple, no? Thank you so much for watching this video. Reasoned is a grassroots organisation that's entirely funded by people like yourself. So if you're in a position to do so, please do consider supporting us by clicking the link to the side there.